Welcome everyone to this welcome everyone to another episode of editing your photos. Thank you so much for watching. So this photo was sent in by Sergey and this he said was a photo of his daughter and he calls this photo making waves. He gives some really good advice on how he would edit this photo, which I really liked. So so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this photo the way that I would normally edit it and then I'm going to edit this photo the way that he would and if you guys want to go ahead and let me know which one you like down in the comments down below. A little friendly competition is always good. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we are. So let's go ahead Ooh, just add in a little bit more exposure. I don't want to overexpose her hat. That seems to be a hot point and the jacket here. So let me bring that back and increase the black a little bit. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the lightness quite a bit, maybe something like 20, and the contrast, just to really kind of make this pop. Sergey mentioned that he used a Samsung 85 millimeter lens, which is not actually in the raw therapy lens profile corrections parameters, but he also mentioned that it is contained within the Adobe Adobe Lens presets, and those, I guess, are freely available online. I didn't know that, so I thought I would just mention that to you guys. Uh, but since I don't have those installed right now, um, then I'm going to go ahead and just leave off the profile correction right now. All right, let's go ahead and turn this into maybe a 4x5 and change this to portrait, you know, something like this. I really like these ripples down here. And we'll add some sharpening and local contrast. Although I feel like the local contrast is maybe a little much. So I'm going to take the amount down just a little bit. And now let's go ahead and add in some saturation. Let's head over to the color tab and turn on the vibrance. And then I'm going to click this protect skin tones, which of course we want to do because we have lots of skin tones here. The pink in the pants and the pink in the hat actually gets well oversaturated. So I have to be careful not to saturate too much and then I'm just going to turn on the soft light to add in a little more clarity here and then finally I'm going to go ahead and come over here to the HSV equalizer and I'm going to grab some of the skin here on her cheeks and maybe here on her forehead a little bit darker and here on her hand and then I'm going to just go ahead and increase the saturation of all of those. And that might be a little too much. Maybe we'll bring that down. Okay, let me turn that off. That just brings a little color into the face. I feel like that vibrance is still too much. Or maybe it might be the saturation. Let me go ahead and, oh, I see it's right here, this pink color. Okay, and then let's go ahead and increase some of the yellow saturation in the background and the green to bring out the color back there and then let me decrease the saturation of the blues. Let me turn that off. And by decreasing the saturation there of the blues and kind of these turquoise colors, we actually warm the picture up a little bit. Okay, if I was going to edit this image, I would probably edit it like this. Go ahead and click this to add this image alteration to the cue. And then let's go ahead and increase the exposure. And really what I'm looking for is the face here. I really want to bring the face out, but there's no way that I, I'm going to be able to do that in raw therapy. So I'm going to have to take that into GIMP. So then I'm going to add that to the queue as well and then export these two photos. Okay, so now I'm in GIMP and I've gone ahead and opened up both of my photos the back i'm going to call this the background edit and then the foreground edit and i'm going to go ahead and just select my top layer and add a layer mask and hit black here where it says black full transparency and then click add p to bring up my paintbrush and come here and leave the hardness at zero the force at 100 and the size let me just increase that to something like this 178 then I can go ahead and just kind of bring out those colors there. I'm going to zoom in hitting shift and the plus button 
and then I'm going to decrease the size of my brush and hit X in order to bring the color to black and I'm just going to clean up my brush strokes here. Then if I want to I can just go ahead and surround all this with the lasso tool and then hit Shift B and fill that in. And actually I'm going to go ahead select all of that and hit P and brush that in and then here okay and then I'm going to hit Alt and click on my and then hit F and I can just go ahead and select all of this here and then hit Alt and click again to bring that back. So I turn it off, turn it on, off, on. And then finally, let's go ahead and come down here to this hand. And here's one other method where you can just use the lasso tool. Just try not to have a halo. Okay, Control Shift J to center the image. Now that I've put this mask there, I can actually decrease the opacity if I feel like it's too much. So maybe something like, I don't know, 80%. So that is my edit. Now I've gone back into raw therapy and I'm just going to go ahead and grab my edit and just right click on it and go to file processing operations and hit clear just to put that back to where it was. Go ahead and click the crop center crop button and I'm going to come up here to where it says custom and go to neutral. So the file is neutral. Now Sergey had mentioned that he really wanted the use of black and white, the black and white filter. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. He also mentioned that he thought maybe a crop of one to one might look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop this one to one. This gives more puddle here on this side and then I'll center the crop. And then here we can use the black and white filter. Now, of course you just, hit black and white and there you go. Here in the black and white you have some different methods. You can use desaturation, you can use the luminance equalizer or the channel mixer, but I'm just going to stick with the desaturation here. And then of course the black and the white uh, in the gamma correction means that you have the three colors R, G, and B. And so if we think about kind of the pink or the red hat and pants here, if I decrease this you can see that that gets much darker but the grass <clears throat> the grass and the color of the dirt actually has quite a bit of green in it so if I pull the green back you can see that the photo has gotten much darker or if I increase it every pixel that has any green in there and then finally the blue there's very little blue in this picture so that really doesn't do much so I'm going to use these sliders to go ahead and kind of give some more contrast here. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease the green a little bit and then increase increase the red to something about like that. Turn it off. Turn it on. And I might I like increasing the red a little bit because it brings some lightness. You know, and then I might turn on this after curve just add in some contrast just like that. Depending on what you wanted, you could also flip this horizontally if you felt like her facing from the right to the left is, is better. But I'm actually not going to do that because in graphic design they teach you that moving from left to right it gives you a sense of moving forward, a uh, sense of moving up, a happier sense. So I prefer the photo uh, with her on the left and the puddles going to the right as well as the road in the background going to the right. So anyway, Sergey, I really appreciate you being willing, being willing to share your photos. If you have a photo that you want to share, go ahead and send it to this email address. It's here on the screen somewhere. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments which version of the photo you like better. I really do like Sergey's edit as well. So thank you so much, and I will see you next time.